Hi, welcome back to Colts KRC. Today we have the Mavic 2 Pro. So, as you've seen, I've been selling some drones off, and one of them I sold off with the Artel Evo. But me being me, one of the replacement. I've already got the Mavic 2 Zoom, so I bought the Mavic 2 Pro. You can get the cheap these days. This is a brand new sealed one in a box because there's a rumour of the Mavic 3 coming out. If it will or not, I don't know. So let's just have a quick look inside it. I'm not doing a proper unboxing, and I'm not doing a proper review on this. I'm going to take it out of the box and we're going to go through some key features and why I actually bought it. So here you go, the Mavic 2 Pro. Now I believe that the later ones that came out are in this white cake cover colour case and the later ones are in a dark and this is black I believe anyway. So this is what I get in the box. I only bought this so I only bought the drone with one battery because I've got the Mavic 2 Zoom which has four batteries with it and obviously the same battery. So I didn't want to have a crazy amount of battery, then obviously I picked this up for a, re a reasonable amount of money. So let's see what you get in the box, you get the zoom, the controller, a box of whatever that is, a box of whatever that is, and I'm guessing it's a charger, so let's just have a look. There's been thousands of unboxings on this, so I'm not really going to do a proper unboxing, I'm just going to show you what you get in the, some bits you get. So in here you've got a manual etc, uh, in this one I believe you've got some cables, and in here you must have the power brick. Yeah, the power bricks in there. Because there were some tops in this box as well, because I didn't think it'd be anywhere else. Yeah, so we've got a set of props and two spares, which is what you tend to get with the DJI product. So the reason I bought this, so I wanted, I had the 4K 60 frames per second Evo, and I liked it, but it didn't have a one inch sensor. And when I bought the Zoom, I thought I didn't need the one inch sensor but then the more I've watched videos the more I think I'd like to have the one inch sensor. So you're going to see quite a bit of this on the channel obviously coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, one thing I will do is I'll do a couple of comparison videos with the zoom because I, I'm asked for me mainly but I'll obviously share it with you guys to see what it's like. But yeah I'm happy with it for the price I paid for it. Apart from that it's exactly the same as the zoom I believe. No, oh, actually, so my zoom when I, oh it still does it, my zoom when I fold it sometimes catches here and it does exactly the same. So yeah, the only difference is obviously the camera. And the other reason for the, the big change was obviously OcuSync 2 is so much better than everything else on the market. The range is fantastic, you never lose picture quality. And I bought it to make myself feel better because I couldn't buy the Sky Dio. So... The Skydio obviously looks a great piece of kit, but for me, in fact, the more I think about it with the Skydio, the more I think I'd probably never use its capabilities. I want to be able to fly a drone, I don't want drones to follow me, and I don't want drones to do all this other stuff. And will it fly as good as one of these? Well, who knows? That, that's something we'll find out in time. We can't get it in the UK yet anyway, it's irrelevant. And I'm looking forward to seeing some people's videos. I know Marcus Crawford's ordered one in Idaho a quad copter. I'm looking forward to seeing his video. I love Marcus's videos. So this is just a brief intro to the Mavic 2 Pro. Like I say, I'm not going to go a detailed review on it, it's pointless. I've, you've all seen one and the reason I bought one is simply for the fact that I wanted to see how what the difference was in the zoom and I obviously wanted the 1 inch sensor because the 1 inch sensor is quite a big deal. So, really quick video today. I'll have more videos coming up on this when I go through some more stuff and I've done some flights with it. I'll do some comparison flights uh, so we can compare the quality on the two. And I've also got lots of footage still from the Evo, even though I no longer own it. I've got a lot of footage from the Evo, so we can also do some um, comparison because it's the raw footage I've got, so we can compare this to the Evo's footage. I can go to the same area and fly, etc, etc. So, yeah, looking forward to doing that. I hope you guys are. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.